It's beer o'clock on Relo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from the Five Points Brewing Company and it's a bottle of Old Greg's Barley Wine coming in at 9.3% ABV. There's a look at the bottle label. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. Give it a bit of a rigorous pour to try and create some kind of head there. There we go. We got about a half a finger head going on. Slightly hazy beer, golden red amber in colour. Yeah, more of a red amber I would say. Slightly hazy, but look at the quality of the beer. As you rock the beer back and forth, you can see, look, the carbonation chasing the beer up the head. Doesn't that look really nice? The beer was kindly sent to us by imperialbeerclub.com. Check out Imperial Beer Club. They're a fantastic club where they've just launched an online beer store. Previously, it was 10 beers for £42. Now, you can, do, you can still do that club, 10 beers for £42, but now you can also do pick your own, buy your own, pay for delivery. Sounds good. So, the link is in the description box of the video for the website, imperialbeerclub.com. Right, aroma. Checking beer all over the place. Oh wow, it really is a full on aroma for a barley wine, it really is. An element of sweetness from the barley's coming through. Biscuity, bready notes coming through. Touch of alcohol on the underneath of the nose there, kind of tickles the underneath of the nose. Clotted cream maybe, some toffee. Vanilla, it smells wonderful. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Stone the Crows, what a beer, that is lovely, lovely. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again, because I never learn from my mistakes. I always see a barley wine, and I just leave it in the cupboard. I leave it, and I leave it, and I leave it, and I. it just takes me so long to get round to barley wines. And then when I open them, and try them, and I kind of remember over again, how good the beer is, how good the style is. A little bit of burnt toffee. Burnt brown sugar on top of a creme brulee. That where they blow torch it. It's got that lovely crisp burnt brown sugar taste to it. Got a fantastic mouthfeel. Rich, dense, and creamy mouthfeel. It's hoppy on the back end, slightly spicy, with a with hints of slight tropical fruit flavours. It's it's a slight orange, it's a slight grapefruit, it's a slight mango. Vanilla, licorice. A little bit of Weetabix. It is a wonderful, wonderful beer. Stone the Crows. Just ask myself the question, and I wonder if you guys can comment in the comments box on this. Do you have the same attitude that I do uh, towards barley wines? Do you, when you go into your local bottle shop, do you go for a barley wine, you pick one up, or do you, do you just let it sit on the shelf and pick something else up? Are you, can you be accused of that like I can, being sent these barley wines and just leaving them in the cupboard and, and just not getting round to them? When you do eventually get round to it, or you taste one, if, you, I mean, if, you, if it's in the bottle shop, you may never get round to trying it, but Somebody might pour you a half or, or share a bottle of barley wine with you and then you're surprised as to how good the style of beer is. It 
It's nice. This beer is super smooth, super drinkable. Touch of carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth. But this is really a sit back, chill out, take your time, enjoy barley wine. If I ever see this in the shops, I don't see, we don't see too much of Five Points Brewing Company around here in Wales. But if I saw that in a bottle shop, I would be sure to pick it up and give it a go. The Five Points Brewing Company London Brew Old Greg's Barley Wine 9.3% ABV. I'm going to give it a rating. And I'm going to give it a bit of a stonking Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.